This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. To find out how you can help kickstart our latest show live from Bay 6, visit our website and click on the Kickstarter icon. In this episode, I'm going to show you a great chicken gumbo soup. It's made with ham and chicken. It's got some rice and then, of course, the holy trinity in Louisiana, bell peppers, onions, and celery. We're going to first start by cutting up two onions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these up into a medium-sized dice. Now, to the onions, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my garlic press and I'm going to press three cloves of garlic so that they're in a nice fine mince. Now I've got four stalks of celery and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take the ends off and move those aside. And then I like to split the celery in half like this before I chop it. And then I can just run my blade through. Again, it's just a medium sized chop. I've got one bell pepper. And to cut this, I always take the top off first and remove that little stem. And then I just pull out the center like this, making sure that I get all the, the seeds and that membrane on the inside. And then you can just cut it into some large pieces like this and then into strips. And then we go ahead and again, we'll cut this into a fine chop. So my vegetables are chopped and I'm going to go ahead and take these over to the soup pot and we're going to start sauteing them. So I have my medium soup pot. I've got this on a medium high heat and I'm going to first start by uh, melting two tablespoons of butter. That gives great flavor when we saute. But then I'm going to put a tablespoon of olive oil in too. That's going to let me let this butter get nice and hot without getting uh, browned on me. So my butter is nicely melted. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in all my veggies. I'm going to give this a little stir and then I'm going to start adding my herbs. Now if you don't have fresh thyme, you can use about a quarter of a teaspoon of dry thyme. But I do have some fresh thyme in my herb pot today. So I'm going to take the um, leaves off, oh about four sprigs of thyme and these are baby baby leaves so they will be nice and tender and I don't need to chop them up. I'm going to put in one bay leaf. Give that a nice stir. Now I'm going to add about a teaspoonful of tomato paste and if you can see if you can find these tubes of tomato paste. They're great to have in your refrigerator because you don't need a lot of tomato paste in this recipe and it's a shame to open a whole can for it, but these little tubes work out great. So I'm just going to put that in and I want to immediately stir that in because the, the tomato paste needs to get broken up a little bit. We don't want it to stay in a glob in here. So you can see the tomato paste is broken up real nicely. It's starting to get a little bit light pink in there. Now for just a little bit of heat, we're going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So I'm going to go ahead, give this a final stir, and I want to let these veggies cook together for about five minutes. So I'm going to just stir this occasionally. Now I've got about a pound or a pound and a half of boneless chicken thighs. And I want to go ahead and cut these up into some chunks. Now some people like to use breast meat in their soups, but I find that the chicken thighs give some really great flavor. So you can see I've just cut it up into strips and then I'm cutting each strip in half. It makes a nice little piece of chicken. And then we're just going to pop this chicken into our veggies and we're going to start browning that off. Now this isn't going to take too, too long because we're just going to want to brown the chicken. But you can see that with the veggies cooking for that five minutes, we're starting to get some really good color. Now the other meat that is tradition in gumbo is some sort of pork. So I'm going to use some ham. And I didn't have any leftover ham, so I got a couple of ham steaks. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to take these and cut them into some long strips and then they'll end up being about a medium-sized dice. 
we want to end up with about a cup of chopped ham. And then we're going to go ahead and add that to the chicken as well. Now the ham is fully cooked, but as it cooks, it's going to get some great smoky flavor in with our chicken and our vegetables. So you can see my chicken is starting to turn opaque. Now it's not cooked all the way through, but I'm not really worried about that because I'm going to have it cooked the rest of the way in its broth. So we're going to go ahead and add eight cups of chicken broth. I'm also going to add about two cups of sliced okra. Now okra is not in season um, at this time of year, but it's always in the freezer section. So you can just get a bag of frozen okra and put that in. I'm also going to add about two cups of frozen corn. I'm going to stir that in. And then I'm going to add three cups of diced tomatoes. Now if you had fresh tomatoes, you could use that. I'm just going to use a can of diced tomatoes and I'm going to put the juice and all right into the pot and give that a stir. So now I want to bring the soup up to a boil. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this up to high and I'm going to put the lid on it and I'm going to watch and as soon as it starts to bubble, then I'm going to turn the heat back down. So our soup has come back up to a boil and it really hasn't taken all that long, but we put so much um, of the frozen vegetables in that it does take, oh, about seven or eight minutes to come back to boil. I'm going to give it one last stir and then I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat down to low. I want this to simmer at a low heat, but I am going to put the lid back on. I don't want the, um, the soup to evaporate much. And this is going to go for about 45 minutes. And what I do is, oh, every 15, 20 minutes or so, I come and check on it and give it a stir. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes. The soup's been simmering nice and slowly. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a little extra flavor. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And then I'm going to season with a little bit of kosher salt. And then lots of black pepper. Now the thing that's great about gumbo is um, not only it comes from Louisiana and they make fabulous uh, dishes down there, but it can be as hot or as mild as you like it. So one of the last things you want to add is some Tabasco sauce. Now you can add either some um, green or some red Tabasco sauce. I like the green because it gives the flavor without a ton of heat. But if you like a lot of heat, you can add the red Tabasco and just put in as much as you like. Now, another thing that's important when you're making soup is before you serve it, always take just a little spoonful of the broth and give it a taste. Make sure it tastes good to you right out of the pot. Sometimes it needs a little more salt, a little more pepper, or in this case, it may need a little bit more hot sauce. Now the last thing we have to have is a little bit of cooked white rice. And um, I have about two cups here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a couple of spoonfuls of the rice right into the bowl. Now the reason I don't put the rice into the soup is because the rice ends up absorbing a lot of the liquid and um, I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to go ahead, put the rice in the bottom and then I'm going to get my ladle and I'm going to ladle in some of that gumbo soup right on top of it. Well, this chicken gumbo soup brings a little bit of Louisiana home on a cold winter's night. Now, if you'd like to give it a try at home, just go to our website and visit the soups on show notes, and I'll have the recipe there for you. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. See you next time.